Hey guys, got another video review for you here. Uh, this is a Echo PB770 backpack blower. Um, this is the biggest uh, blower in the Echo backpack lineup. Um, I have Echoes now. I'm sure all of you uh, have seen, if you watch my videos or my reviews, you've seen my review of my Red Max EBZ8050. Well, not mine anymore. Uh, somebody stole all my equipment, which is why now I have Echoes. Um, I just figured, you know, I was really upset and really disappointed with the uh, Red Maxes when I got them. And um, not that this was, it's a good, you know, good uh, reason to start uh, with my stuff getting taken, but um, I figured, why not? Um, so I went with the Echoes, and I can't be any more happy. Um, that leaps and bounds over the Red Max, and uh, basically the only time I'll ever buy another Red Max is if it, has 8000 on it. If it's an 8000, I'll buy it. If it has anything else, I won't. Um, <clears throat> this is a, uh, it's a, it's a really, really nice blower. Um, just really quick, it's it's cheaper. Uh, my dealers around here, the Red Max was 560. This is 499. Uh, this has a smaller engine, 63 cc, is not 79, so you get better fuel economy. Um, it's lighter. It's more comfortable. It has a ton of little features that, you know, you, you would only really recognize while using it and not looking at it. Um, and, and it's more powerful than the Red Max, hands down. So I'll go through everything um, really quick now and just, you know, show you how this thing operates here. Uh, this is the Echo PB770, like I said. The T is for the tube throttle. Um, and I'll explain why I got the tube throttle instead of the hip in a minute. Um, you got your air filter over here your choke, your primer bulb, your recoil starter, and your fuel fill. The tank is about a half a gallon. It's a nice size tank. Uh, it lasts a while, I'll tell you, because the, the better fuel economy with the smaller motor, it definitely lasts a while. Spark plug is under this little trap door here. <clears throat> that yellow reflective tape is just mine. I put that on there just to know it's mine. Super strong 3M stuff. Um, on the backrest here, you have these six uh, air conditioning vents, which r are really nice on your back. Um, they really, really are nice. They shoot up some nice air onto your back. These straps have two adjustments, one up top here and then one on the bottom, um, which makes it even more comfortable for my back and everyone else's back because you can adjust it in two separate ways, uh, which is really nice. <coughs> Now, my, probably my favorite feature about this blower, I don't know if you can see it, let's see if I can position it here. Um, well, you can see how this has a lip here. There's another lip here, it's on the inside. What that does is that, that when the exhaust comes out, it shoots it up instead of straight out. So if you're behind somebody in a planting bed, doing sprinkler full cleanups or whatever, the exhaust doesn't come right in your mouth. It, it shoots up and, up and away. Um, that's not in any of the brochures. The dealer didn't even tell me about that, but that is probably my favorite feature about this entire blower. <clears throat> um, as you can see, I'll, if you can see it, the whole motor bounces on these springs. You see the springs in there. Um, it, it, it bounces. You'll see it when I start it. It really uh, magnifies it when I start it. But it's totally um, solidified from the frame of your back, so you get no vibration in your back, um, and the other thing is, uh, in the Red Maxes, uh, when I had the hip throttle, and I used to hold the blower the tube down here, my arm and my hand used to get tingly um, from the vibration, but with this you get none of it, because you have the flex tube here, but then this whole thing shakes on its own, so it's, it's really, really nice. Um, basically, the reason why I went with the tube throttle instead of the hip is because the hip throttle on the Echoes was opposite of the Red Max. Uh, but the Red Max is uh, up was faster and down was idle. On the Echoes, down was faster and up was idle. And I know that me and the guys would have been cursing up a storm every time we wanted to go full balls, but we did nothing instead. So I went with the tube throttle, uh, which is just as nice. Um, as you can see, it has the uh, cruise control anyway. Um, if I had to pick one thing about the blower I don't like, is that if you see these two lines here, that one's idle and that one's off. 
if you're not paying attention and you want to idle all the way down, if you go all the way up, you turn it off. And you got to bug somebody to start you. Um, but that's something you get used to, and you just kind of, what I do is I put my finger here and I just push it up. And it's, you know, it hits my finger and I know that I'm at idle, not turning it off. Um, all the tubes have the posi lock uh, with all these bumps and ridges, so these tubes never come off of here. I know on all my Red Maxes I had to uh, uh, electrical tape them together so they didn't come off. These will not come off. These are locked in here good. <clears throat> so, other than that, it's, it's a 63cc engine instead of 79, so you get better fuel economy and it's um, Echo's Tornado Boost or something technology for the motor and it really, really gives a lot of power. Um, another thing I noticed with the Red Max when you have a full uh, throttle and you let go of the tube, the tube shoots across and you're reaching behind your back for it. This stays right where it is. Um, so it's, it's nice. Um, it's a little quieter than the Red Max. I think the Red Max is something like uh, 79 decibels or something. This is 74. Um, so I'm going to do the same test that I did with the Red Max uh, when I had it which was shooting the 6x6 paver over there. Um, <clears throat> I think the Red Max did it like 6 feet, 5 or 6 feet. But we'll see here. See what you can do. See, on. See the whole motor shaking? That's, it's on those springs. So it's really, really comfortable. It's unbelievable. All right, here we go. I have the the feet marked out here so we can see it easily. seven so six so like I said smaller motor as much if not more power than the Red Max so um, like I said guys this is I'm, I'm so impressed with this blower um, it was 499 at my dealer um, and obviously all my stuff got stolen so I, I got like three thousand dollars worth of stuff from him so he cut me a deal um, but uh, the 499 by me as opposed to 569 for the Red Maxes. Um, and 